Say traps. Traps. Listen to me very carefully. If you're taking notes, write this down. If you're not, start taking notes and write this down. Traps are present where truth has been distorted and temptation is present. People fall into a trap when two things happen. Truth has been distorted and temptation shows up knocking. God wants us to live without falling into the trap. You ready for this? You can live without falling into the trap. Well, I just have this deep flaw. No, you keep making the same choice. Jesus, help me here. I hope you understand before you ever get deliverance, you have to take ownership. Well, this is, this is you know, my mama did this to me. My Sunday school teacher did that to me and it made me, I understand that we're gonna pray for pain to be healed in just a few moments. We're gonna pray for God to heal generational things in just a few moments, but I wanna tell you something. Decisions are made every day in your heart and in mine and we will live and eat the fruit of those decisions. And when we stand before Abba and we stand before Jesus, there will be no blaming anyone else for the sin we decided to commit. It's heavy, I know. So I asked my dad to help me today. <laughs> Always one in every crowd. So I asked my dad to help me today. I talk, to, talk about my dad all the time. He's, he's an expert fisherman. He knows how to do it. He's been doing it for a very long time. Got him a fishing buddy over there, Brother Raymond. Got him a fishing buddy. They've been fishing and Oh yeah, this is, uh, Dad, you could have fixed it for me. There it is. This is, uh, oh great, here we go. This is called a topwater lure, is that right, Dad? This is a topwater lure. I, I know a pretty good bit about fishing. Everything I know about fishing, I learned from my dad. Back in the summers, we used to fish, I mean like three times a week, get in the boat and go fishing. I remember this lure. You throw this lure up against the bank, just off the rocks, just barely, and you just let it sit there and just bob it like that a few times. Pull on it, make it bounce. It just floating on top of the water. And you would sit there and you would think, man, I ain't catching nothing. If you let it sit there, sit there long enough, there's this big bass laying in the shallow water waiting to see what that thing's going to do. And you just bounce it every now and then and it would lure that bass out of its little, what is it called, Dad? House. Something. Okay, whatever. It had a house. <laughs> in my story, it had a house, okay? The fish had a house. A nest, okay, that was even crazier. All right, so you just, you just lay the lure and you just bounce it a little bit. Let it sit, pull on a little bit. Let it sit. And I can't tell you how many times throughout my life in the summer, watching a big bass swell up on a topwater lure, inhale it, and my dad go to screaming. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Whenever you ask my dad how big the fish was, he always tells the story like the man who caught a fish but only had one arm. How big was it? Huge, right? Here's the deal. Satan knows what to put on the end of the line to bounce and just let it sit there and bounce and let it sit there until it pulls you and pulls, tries to pull us 
out of a place of sanctified righteous living. And here's the thing, y'all. My dad has fish hanging on the wall in his house that used to be alive, but today are trophies. Because they thought they could take the bait and escape the hook. Listen to me. You might not even be able to see the hook back there where you're sitting, but I'm looking at this bait right here. It has six hooks, two treble hooks attached to it. And if you go looking, oh God, don't let me say that. Whoop. If you go looking and trying to get this bait, <laughs> you'll bite it thinking you have the bait, but you'll wind up recognizing the bait has you. Yeah. How do I stay away from the trap? Well, let me help you understand something. You and I will never live in this world and not be exposed to traps. The deal is, do you know how to stay out of the trap that was set? There's only one way. Stay in love with the one who makes you forget about the bait. Yeah. 